one hand. I got the rear kit, the front kit, and the proportioning valve line right here. They look quite nice, but damn, they are expensive. Looking at the proportioning valve right here on the far left is going to the master cylinder. This is going to go to the front right brake, so your passenger side. The two here will go to the rear. This one will go to the front left, and this one on the very bottom here will go back to the master cylinder. Channel A, channel B. One thing I still have to do is I have to take the old hard lines out for the rears. As well, I'm putting on these fittings onto the master cylinder as well. I'm gonna tighten those down snugly too. These fittings are also 14 millimeters. So the two lines from the master cylinder to the proportioning valve, they're the same length. The 90 degree elbows go to the master cylinder and the straight ends go to the proportioning valve. With the master hooked up now, everything's just finger tight. I still have to tighten it, but I got the one line hooked up underneath the proportioning valve to channel A. And for channel B, I just have it looping around uh, into its designated spot on the proportioning valve. Moving on to the driver's side. Skunk problems. Well, I got it fed through that little grommet area up there. I'm probably gonna feed it over here underneath where the fuel filter is, and then this is a 90 degree fitting that will connect to that one right there. Voila, next I'll do the driver's side front. So later on in the night, I ended up going ahead and finishing up the rear end with the brake lines. I had my wife also help me out and we bled the brakes. So now I'm just going to drop the car, take it outside and give it its first wash in ages. And then after that, start tackling some smaller projects that need to get done before I can go ahead and get this car safety tested. So with the car washed right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start polishing up the car. I'm not gonna go like super extensive to make this car look incredible. I'm just, you know, really gonna knock away those uh, 1500, 2000 grit scratches. And that's about it. I'm not really making this car for a show car purpose, but I do want it to look nice. So far so good. I'm actually a lot happier than I thought I was gonna be with this. There is a lot of smaller scratches, most likely caused when I was doing a thousand grit and I sanded down with 1500 and I probably didn't go far enough on the 1500. If you're gonna be outside and it's gonna hit with sunlight, you ain't gonna see it. It's gonna look really nice. Even at nighttime, it's still gonna look really good. It's just not like perfect. They look nice. Anyways, I did quickly toss in my horn. Got to install the windshield wipers so I can have that for safety test. 
I sanded down the windshield wipers as well and I'm gonna give them a fresh coat of paint. I'm still working on adjusting the ride height so that is kind of just near where I want it to be but I don't want it to be too low so uh, a couple more rotations probably and then that'll probably be the end of it. Working on the battery box, I found these brackets here in my garage and these are actually just perfect. I'm basically going to be framing out the bottom with these four pieces like so. Then I will have this one actually on the inside um, in between like that. And surprisingly the battery actually fits perfectly within this little square. I can basically have these I believe tucked against each other as well and they will fit nicely and keep that battery nicely in place. So there it is, there's the last bit for tonight. Uh, overall came out well, I'll probably take it all off and recoat it in some nice just flat black as everything else is pretty much but with a lot of other smaller things completed I got the mud flaps installed and nicely put in I got the inner fender well protecting the front end completed the ride height for the back is where I like it a little higher than the fronts where it should be I think uh, horn installed and I have my windshield wipers installed pretty much the car is ready I did purchase these tabs here. These are always a problem with older Hondas snapping on you when removing things. Uh, it was better for me just to get this kit and replace a bunch of old damaged ones everywhere. Pretty much I could get access to, I replaced it. And uh, this car is feeling like a new car again. That will be it for today's episode. I know a lot of jumping around with a lot of small projects and it probably didn't feel as smooth as it should be for the episode, but I wanna thank you guys for checking in. I will see you in the next one and hopefully the next one will be its actual first drive on the road. Hopefully nothing goes wrong with inspection, but I don't foresee that I should have anything major to fix if that is the case. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Garage Specific.